All right, guys, for our last uh, week of science, I want to just take a look at a few more things about plants that uh, we haven't covered to this point. So the first thing I want to look at is what is the life cycle of plants? So most plants follow a fairly predictable cycle of life. And uh, I have a video here, and you may, or sorry, um, a picture here, and hopefully you watched the video that I attached also with this that has the uh, bean seed growing. It's a little bit creepy, but it's kind of neat to watch it in fast motion. Um, you'll notice it's called a cycle, and the reason it's called a cycle is because it goes in circles, just like a wheel on a bicycle, right? It, it, there's no real place where it starts, uh, but we uh, can kind of think of it as beginning with the seed because that's what we plant, that's what we put on the, in the ground. So if we put our seed in the ground, then once it has water and uh, it begins to grow, it becomes a sprout. So the one thing you might notice from the video is the roots grow first. We also saw that with our own bean seed plant uh, as it's been growing. The first thing we saw was roots. And then once it started to break the surface use with the stem, that's when we call it a sprout. Now, as it starts to get larger and develop leaves, we call that an adult plant. Okay? And then that adult plant uh, becomes mature once it has the, um, the, the ability to create more seeds. And so that's when we get the seeds right here. They call it the fruit in this, uh, uh, in this picture. I don't know if we would call uh, bean seeds a fruit, but that's okay. It's, it's the development of the seeds from the flower. Then once those seeds fall off the flower, uh, then we have more seeds that go into the ground and our cycle starts all over again. So our life cycle of most seed plants begins with a seed, then to a sprout, then to an adult where more seeds are uh, created and dropped uh, to the ground to create more new plants. So that's our life cycle. Thanks guys.